I'm very excited for our first guest for the show. It's comedian. Let's give it up for DK Fan. <laughs> How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I've actually met you before, actually, once oh my gosh, uh, a long I'm so time sorry. ago. Well, no, I. Where uh, was this? You Remind were performing uh, at a fringe festival um, in a musical <gasps> with Jeff Young. Yes. Oh I my was, gosh. So I don't think I actually met you personally, okay. but I was sitting in the audience. And okay, I was there cool. To see Jeff awesome. and uh, thought your voice so was Jeff angelic. Young so Jeff Young is a friend of yours, then? Uh, yeah, yeah, he is. Uh, Amazing. He, uh, he actually dated my sister Enjoy. for a little bit as well. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Sweet. Well, superstars, you know, they're friends, so mm -hmm. it's great to, to meet you then. Yeah. Um, talk to us about um, what you're up to lately with comedy. Uh, so I, uh, I actually started a, a weekly show at a vegan juice pressery. Uh, Actually, really close to here. It's um, across the street from Square One. Okay. At a place called uh, the Cold Pressery. Nice. Uh, so it's a nice place for me to kind of work on my hosting chops and uh, uh, have like kind of a home room that I can practice comedy at without having okay. to go and do a bunch of open mics everywhere, stuff like that. It's a right. nice, comfortable place. And when does that take place every week? Uh, it is Tuesday nights uh, every week at 8 p.m. Cool. Yeah, so we That's try to awesome. have a, a bit of a cleaner lineup as well. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep it child friendly. <laughs> That's great. And how long have you been doing that for? Uh, so this is fairly new. I actually started it off in April. So oh, wow. uh, I'm, I'm going to guess if I do the math correctly, like four or five months okay. now. Okay, yeah. awesome. So um, talk to us about the, the show. Like, Do you have a lineup of people that perform every week or is it um, like open to anybody? It's, uh, I wouldn't say it's an open mic, so I do try to vet the comics that I bring onto the show right. first. Okay. Um, I try to find comics that I think are a good fit for the room because I find right. that the room is a little bit more conservative. Okay. Uh, so I try to bring in cleaner comics or right. comics with, um, I guess, material that is a bit more cerebral or less blue collar and okay. stuff like that. Yeah. Awesome. I think we have a clip for you that oh, we're yes. going <laughs> to check out. Yeah, let's check out his video. Let's check out his work. Give them a hug for all the comments that you've seen on the show so far. Yeah. So I'm Asian, I guess I'm supposed to do an Asian joke. I'm going to get that one out of the way first, all right? I think it's impossible to offend white people on a racial level. Every other race is really easy. Like, you could probably offend me by telling me to go home and eat what I'm probably going to eat anyway. Right? I mean, like, right now, you could just be like, hey, go home, eat your rice and soy sauce. I'm like, yo, man, that's not cool. I can't do that to you. I can't, right? Like, I can't look you in the eye and be like, yo, what's up, Wonder Bread? <laughs> you gonna go home and eat a hamburger? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I can't. I can't. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm not offended at all. It's great. My brother and Rachel like, oh man, screw you. That's not cool. <laughs> there we go, that's done. I teach martial arts to little kids. Don't judge me, I know. Um, I teach martial arts to little kids, and I, I work with kids for a living. I realize that being this age and having grown up in a different time, uh, you can't treat kids the same way you did back then, right? Like, you can't punish kids now the same way you did before. Uh, like, back in the day, like, you would, uh, you probably got sent up to your room, right? I'm ethnic, I got beat, right? <laughs> That, you can't do that anymore. You can't send kids up to their room anymore because they have like cell phones, laptops, all that stuff. They have their whole life in their room. When I got sent to my room, I had a bed, a desk, and broken dreams. That's it. <laughs> if I'm going to have a son in the future, I can't do that. I can't be like, go to your room. I have to be like, hey, come here. Go outside and play with the other kids. <laughs> That was great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> how, um, like as we were watching that in the studio, how do you feel like watching your your performances? Is um, this something you do often, or it's I do, and I'm very analytical about yeah. it. So I'll, I'll I'll tear myself apart in my head, or like oh, I talked too fast here, or right. I gotta pause here, fix this line, do that. Oh, people mm -hmm. didn't like this joke so much. Right. And it's uh, I guess watching myself on camera, it's probably not as enjoyable um, as other people watch because they're they're just in taking it and enjoying it, and not. Right. thinking about it, right? Yeah. Um, I would assume that if you were to listen to yourself mm -hmm. uh, perform your own music, it oh, would for sure. kind of be the way. same thing, I don't right? like when, it's funny, I don't like when people play my music when I'm in the room. <laughs> I'm like, just either come to a live show when mm -hmm. I'm not listening to myself, or just wait till I leave the room and then you can. So <laughs> I totally get it. Uh, we have about 30 seconds left. Um, t uh, where can we find you online? Uh, you can find me uh, on Instagram, at uh, DKFantastic. You can find me on Twitter, at uh, DK underscore fan. Awesome. And, uh, 
Well, what else is it? DKFan.com or .ca as well oh. for a website. And we can check you out every Tuesday at Cold Pressery yes, at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to do my best to come by. <laughs> Fantastic. And you're joining us for the game afterwards. Uh, yes, I am. I believe so. <laughs> awesome.